I am here in Northern Green State Forest in northern New Jersey, about an hour's west of New York City. My concept of Trek of Your Life stems from some very personal things in my life that I'm going to share with you right now. It's about being on a path that I never expected I would be on. And all I did was just open my heart and my mind up to some new things. And it has transformed me, made me a better person. And I'm proud to share this next piece with you. Peace out. Check your life. I feel so good right now. Trekking is just such a terrific thing to do. Relieve that stress. Personally, I'm pretty good with my stress in my life. I don't know why, but I can just let things slide. I work hard. I do the best things possible I can do. Uh, but I see all around me so many people that deal with stress and we deal with it in so many different ways. And uh, it gets you to think about, you know, what can we do to help ourselves? And maybe, is there anybody out there really truly helping us? You know? So I want to share with you something very personal that shows, demonstrates what I've been going through, what I've given myself up to, what I believe in, what I have faith in, that has set me on a new path in my life. next piece I believe will give you a glimpse as to why I created Trek of Your Life and I am not going to ever stop this trek I've been searching you ever search I've been searching for answers. Do we always find those answers? I don't know. Sometimes we get the answers, but they're not what we ever thought they'd be. I've been hiking for the last four weeks as steadily as possible up here in North New Jersey, right on the border of New York State. This spring has been brutal. It's been hard. It's been cold, it's been windy and wet, cloudy and miserable. And yet I got myself out there, out there to hike, out there to see nature at its best, at its worst. Those are the things that drive me. 
But what happens when the stress in our lives, the challenges we face, when does it start to weigh so much on us that we find we need to find a path, a way out or a way in or a way up or a way down? That's when we start to dig deep inside our souls, inside who we are. Try to just figure out deep from within. We search it inside ourselves to figure out what's beyond. It's, I might ask, why do we do that? But that's what people do. All of us do it searching when I get out here and hike I never know what I'm going to find sometimes it gets tough for all different reasons sometimes it just gets mighty spectacular but what I try to do is I keep moving forward one step at a time don't want to rush because Even like in life, we don't want to rush. So we are searching and we look deep inside ourselves trying to discover which path, which route which way we should go. Some of us find God or gods. Some of us find it completely within. Maybe maybe it's a little bit of both to get those answers, whatever it may be. You got to learn to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your God. To get yourself through. I am on a new pathway. At the moment, it is a winding dirt trail with high grasses alongside the edges. My gaze has only been on what is in front of me. On the ground, I haven't risen my head yet, for I am only now realizing that this is a new path. I yearn to see what is around me. But at the moment, I cannot make sense of it. No sense of speed or light or time. I do not have any idea where it will lead me. And I could only trust that this path is a good one. For God leads me and I follow with full trust. I do fear that it will require struggle and sadness to muddle through. And I'm not sure if I can withstand more of that in my life. Hello? Can you hear me? I think it's working now. I'm off and I'm on my way. This is my path. That is my future. I will not back down. I will not give up. I have my faith. My job in life is that path that God has put me on. And I'm a believer. I have the faith. And I will not falter. I will not turn back. 
when things are in doubt and I grow confused, there is just one way out, and that way is up and over and beyond. I will stay on this path as best I can and put my faith in God that His way, His vision will be good for us all. I do have faith, faith that was tested over and over again. I did back down in the past. I did turn away at times. But I have learned that there is no escape. When you open your heart and your mind to what is out there. Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? The ground is uneven, a dirt road with many rocks. It is a dusty road, worn out and old, so ancient but rarely used. Perhaps I am the only one to venture on it. Here I am on this path, his path. I don't know how I've come to be here in this place. It is as if I've been transported from another time, another place, put here. My past is just a shadow now, and I feel I've been reborn, or have I been redrawn, recast into the world. This new place I am nervous about. It seems a wilderness. It is a place that I can very well die. I wonder now if I will be alone from God. Is he here? Was he ever there? I keep saying to myself that I would like to think that God exists and that he still has me on his path. But what mission can this be that I am on? I must move forward, be very focused and motivated, create something that can help others and in turn bring me my happiness. I do not think that God must be part of it, but I would like to think that God is with me every step of the way, that he will help me achieve my ends, which are his. This is my new horizon. This is my path. This is the trek of my life.